Hi everyone, Julie Henderson here, and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to schedule posts using TinyTorch. So I am on uh, tinytorch.com, and once you log in, it's a free account, once you log in, you can just go down to the left-hand side where it says My Profile Saved Content. And it looks like there is a lot you can do with this site, and I have not had a time to play around with it yet. So I literally know how to create a post, and that's about it, um, which is exactly what I want it for. So it's as simple as just clicking on Create Post. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my 21 Day Fix group, and I am going to take Day 8. So this is the post for Day 8. I'm just going to copy this. And then I'm just gonna put that right in my message. Now right here it says choose private if you don't want other users to be able to post your content. I didn't see that at first and I was putting it public. So um, I'm not sure how much people are gonna be able to see of my posts, but it's okay, it's not really secret or anything. Um, I'm not sure what the tags do yet. Like I said, I haven't had time to look at anything, but I'm tagging 21 Day Fix just in case they do do anything. Um, I am saving it to my profile and I'm going to upload an image, and so the image that I wanted to do is this one right here. So I just hit choose, and then save content to profile. Okay, and then here, it gives you the option of where to post things. So I already authorized my Facebook account. It's super easy to do that. There's a little tutorial that shows you how to. So because I already have that done, I am just gonna go and choose which group I want. So I want it to go to my 21 days healthy, happy, and fit that started on the 18th. I'm gonna save this copy to my profile because I believe that I can um, then go and repost it later. So if I do another 21 day group, those posts are already there and I don't have to copy and paste. Now up here, if I wanted to delete this photo, I could just click this X. If I wanted to change the photo, I hit the little camera. And if I wanted to edit it, I just hit this little pencil. And so you can do all kinds of things. Like if you had a photo that you wanted to put um, your tag on it, so if I wanted to do like IG at pure underscore synergy, so my Instagram was on there, I'd be able to go and do that. You just click on here to text, and then you can add the text. So there's a lot you can do with it. But this photo's fine, so I really don't need to play around with it. But that's really cool because you can you know, edit the photos without having to use another program. So um, I can either post it right now, which is not what I want, or if you hit this little calendar, this is where you can schedule it. So this is going to be um, Monday the 25th. That's going to be their post. I'm going to choose my time zone, which is Eastern. And then I am going to post this at 6 a.m. Eastern time. So I hit done, hit add to queue. Wait for my internet. <laughs> and then that's scheduled. So then you can go here and you can look at all of your posts that are scheduled. So these are all of the posts that I have scheduled so far. And so it's really easy to, you know, schedule your posts, be able to edit them, you know, see what you have scheduled. And it is so much more user friendly than Hootsuite. Um, there is also a spot for, I believe it's this one, all content. Yes, so this is really cool. So if you go to all content, you can find photos and content that other people have posted. So if you guys notice, I posted this, this water one the other day. And so if you see this, this is how many glasses of water have you drank today? You could just go edit and share. You can change the words up here if you want, and then you can select any page. So you can do it to groups, you can do it to pages that you run, you can do it to your personal profile. So it's really, really great to be able to, um, you know, have these posts too. So if you're kind of like stuck and you don't really know what to post, you can always type there. And let me see, I haven't even played around with this yet. Okay, cool. That did what I thought it would. Okay, so up here you can just, um, you know, type in whichever category you want to search, and then it just pops up. So if you're ever stuck and you don't know what posts to post, then you can, you know, type that in and, and get some ideas for posts too. 
So like I said, it's super easy. I'm sure that there is a ton more stuff that you can do with this. I just haven't even played around with it. I wanted it to be able to um, post on my like page, post on my wall, and also post on um, in groups. And before with Hootsuite, you couldn't do photos in groups. And so with this, it's really nice because you can do the photos. So actually, let me... Let me show you because if you do it on your wall, okay, Disney fitness apps, which are your favorite apps? Okay, this is actually a good post. So I'm going to go ahead and post this to my Facebook profile and I am going to post it now. And so what happens is when it goes to your Facebook profile, it is going to post as a private post so only friends can see it. Okay, so now I am going to go over to Facebook. And so this is what it just posted right now. So as you can see right here, it's set for friends. So you can just go through and hit public and then that changes that. Um, you are supposed to be able to go through your apps here and search your apps. But for some reason, I'm having troubles finding Tiny Torch in here, so I haven't been able to um, adjust the uh, privacy setting that way. But like I said, I was able to do it easily just by, let me go back to my profile, you know, just by, by clicking right here. Um, so that's how you would do it if you, you know, if you wanted it to be public. So anything that you want, anything that you think people are going to share, or anything that you want, you know, public people to see, then that is, um, you know, how you change that. So I hope this helped you guys, and um, like I said, it's so much simpler than Hootsuite. I know Hootsuite was driving a lot of you completely crazy. So I hope that helped, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.